Yes, hello everybody. I wish you all the best today morning. Deepavali is coming very near. Coming Sunday, I think, uh, Deepavali festival will be celebrated entire, all over India. And world idols, of course. I have to speak to kids particularly. Present generation uh, kids um, of our family uh, mostly staying outside Orissa and not uh, very much acquainted with Odia. That's why I'm speaking in English. The aspect of Deepavali, why it is being celebrated. Now there are many points. When I was a student, when I grew up, Hindu mythology speaks a lot of things on celebration of Deepavali. But celebration of Deepavali happens on many accounts, many aspects. One by one I will elaborate to particularly kids to know who are not actually much acquainted nowadays with the Hindu might. But for a knowledge of elderly persons who almost know everything. But just to have a browse over my experience and my perceptions. So, first point is that Deepavali celebration is actually starts with Pitrupakya or 15 days of Mular, uh, moon calendar or lunar calendar. One month of lunar calendar. So, particularly in October, this comes. So, when Pitrupakya comes, The Hindu philosophy is that, the belief is that past generations who stay in heaven are in a different world. They used to descend actually this mortal world. And when the spirit comes to this mortal world, Pitrupakya is celebrated by Hindus for 15 days and Mahalaya is the day when these souls again return back to their world back. And Mahalaya and Deepavali are celebrated at the same occasion. Mahalaya is performed with Shraddha, Shreva, ceremony. Shraddha means with Shraddha. Shraddha means your liking. You appeal your elders Welcome your elders, observe penance like not taking um, arbitrary foods like non veg and other things. Many people may observe in different ways. Uh, many people also they don't cut even beards, mustaches like that. On seven, remain on seven. Elderly persons. Otherwise, not. 
Tarpana is given at the time when descent, Pitrupakya starts. At that time also Pindadan also the, given with water and other things, recites of all generations, past generations. Father, if you departed, then grandfather, if you departed, then great-grandfather, great-grandmother, maternal, paternal, all these things. All are welcome, all are offered with prayer, with tarpana, and Mahayas rather also in the Lord Jagannath temples, by Sipahasadu, whatever we call, 22 steps are there near Lion's Gate. There actually Sraddha is performed, otherwise you can perform also in your own home or in any temples. Sometimes uh, it is offered with uh, uh, to Brahmins. Um, few rice and vegetables and some currency like that. It is a belief that if you give and satisfy their hunger, the hunger of hunger and of food and thirst will be quenched by the spirits before they return back to their world. Maharaj Radha when performed in the evening, when the night, particularly late night, they used to ride, go back to their world. And at that time, what happens? In the family, Hindus born this Kaurya uh, and the uh, you have come in the light, now you go back in the darkness, we are showing you the light, please go back. And this was told, and a huge fires are organized. In Puri I have seen in my children, uh, teenage, that uh, huge fire organized by Hindus on Lion's Gate. People used to put all these things. So the family is that the night of celebration where our forefathers are returning back to heaven. That is a very auspicious day for each of us. Then second aspect is that Dipavali is, is the fight of Mother Durga with a Mahishasura. Then when in month of October Durga's puja comes, Sodosa puja. There are 16 days Mother is celebrated on earth where it is believed Mother descends upon this mortal world. And this is a Hindu myth. But in actual field, what happens? If you see the corn fields are ripe and it is believed that the in the paddy the rice is being formed at that time that a garbha basta that means rice is creation of rice within paddy is initiated that means this is the sustenance of the mankind and other animals. It is when a mother descends. Mother is the embodiment of the nature. And nature allows creatures 
to get fed and this is the time she gave primarily food primarily we understand food means rice he was corn fields you can see the ripe riping stage start and for 16 days we were sheep and sasti saptami ashtami durgaashtami and navami this days particularly sasti saptami ashtami and navami mother goddess is celebrated all over india and the belief is that at that is the time when the mahishasura that is a demon who was killed by the mother durga because he had the power by his penance that even lord vishnu or shiva or brahma even or deva devi can destroy him so when the time comes mother has to disrobe her the last will come to mahishasura when the last will come last you understand the last for female attraction will come mahishasura will become weak at that time mother will with huge anger destroys with all the weapons given by all gods like lord vishnu sudarshan chakra and uh, shiva trishula the trident and uh, like that um, uh, snakes and um, the mother is afford with snake to bite then mother swan um, bahana the lion it also fights with the demon and ultimately it perish then dashara is the time when mother conquest of the demon is celebrated this is called dipavali this is the second aspect and that aspect means when the mother conquest that is a metaphorical meaning of that this mahishasura or the demon is in is a hindu myth but if you percept in a finer sense the demon is the power of the lust when you have lust your conscience perishes you cannot consider as a human being you become cruel you can do anything i take you one example of ramana why ram ravana took sita and kept her in asagavatika and forced her to marry knowing very well she is wife of ramachandra last this is the thing a man can kidnap another wife but ravan if you read ramayan was one of the most learned person he was a brahmin but 
he was a demon because his mother was a demon but his father is a brahmarshi and he is quite learned but knowing this thing his conscience failed with lust and anger when lust comes anger comes jealousy comes you become greedy and all sort of negative thoughts will be generated within you your pure conscience of humanity perishes and that is called the power of the demon that destroys everything within you every human being and who is mother mother is the creative power the creative power creates every human being in this world including ourselves who is overtaken by lust a time comes this creative power destroys his her own creation why it she create kill her own son own child because of the sin of the cruelty when this becomes intolerant and imbalances the nature mother reappears and banquets her own child to keep the balance of the nature now come back to your mind if in your mind such type of lust grief lust from um, feminine feminine attraction or wealth or anything you in this world lost is a word you, you can understand it is attraction blind attraction i want to enjoy be a woman be wealth be power all these things when this lust will overtake your conscience it perishes it perishes then what will happen mother created within you get created and your anger your jealousy lot of negative attitude generates in your body so that ultimately you perish your physical existence get perished so that is the thing now dashara and dibavali is the occasion where the cause of this evil it is called evil because you see good and evil noble nature and evil nature this lost greed anger jealousy and hundreds of these things in the mahabharata you can see kauravs there are hundred brothers actually metaphorically there are hundred negative attitude each is one represent one dusasana is the last for women he wanted to disrobe pudra upadi durjodana is lost for power he wanted to be king even if he was not deserve like that and wealth locked that so this is the evil total conglomeration of all negative attitudes in human being is called evil attitude the noble nature is that 
compassion, love, kindness, helping others, feelings, good feelings, sympathy. Lent, there are also, there are many attitudes. They are called divine attitudes. So when this demon within you perish, this divine attitude takes root, then grow to a tree, big tree. Big tree means within your brain there is a mind and within this mind there are thoughts. The thoughts will be overtaken by these good attitudes. What are the good attitudes like compassion? Whoever you see someone is suffering, compassion will come. And sympathy will come, attitude to help will come, all these things will come. So this is called celebration of perishes of evil and generation of the goodness, nobleness within you and you become a perfect human being and a good son of your mother, a divine mother. And that is called celebration within yourself. That is the celebration within yourself. Now come back. How you can visualize this? I tell you one thing. Sit down. Whoever are kids, from childhood, you try to practice meditation. You say, don't laugh. Sit for 5 to 10 minutes. I am not telling you that hours together you to be a Mahajogi or a Maharushi. No. Sit for 10 minutes quietly on an asana and think of any divine God like Vishnu, Shiva, Devi, Deva Devi, whomever you like or nature even, or goodness even, you quietly sit and meditate. Over a period of years, and for elderly also, I suggest for hours, if you meditate in tranquil, tranquility, calmness, silence, seclusion, meditate in a dark room. You will see everything will be, close your eyes, you will see the darkness. This darkness is called ignorance. That means your mind is full of thoughts and these thoughts are from your memories. In Sanskrit this is called Chit Sagara. That is the ocean of memories. So all these thoughts are generated and filled up and this will blow just like sun is you cannot see the sun by clouds. Similarly there is the sun, there is the soul within you which is very very bright like sun but the thoughts are in shape of clouds, they always cover this and you can see only darkness. But gradually, if you meditate hours, day, then week, then month, then years, and years after years, decades, a day will come, you will see light. Still you continue, then this light get enlarged and whole vision will be enlightened with very, very bright light. That is called the Sahara and the Dipavali. The, this is the true perception of celebration of Dipavali. Dipavali is that when this blazing light within you, you can see, you will 
be able to realize, realize what is good, what is bad, what is discrimination. If lust comes, you can reject it. You have the capab you can develop your capability. No, you cannot enter into my. You cannot capture me. Like that, it will come. The power will come. Greediness. No, it will not enter. And jealousy. No, you cannot be jealousy. He is a, um, a millionaire or Kurorupati. Let him be so. It doesn't matter. One day we have came to this, we came to this world empty-handed and we'll go oh, empty-handed one day and get to um, reduce to ashes. Pancho Bhuta. Our body will be again merged with five elements like air, water, earth, sky, like that, all these things, spaces, like this. Five elements, so the soul will merge. Now, my point is that when you can perceive and realize this, this is called celebration of the body within yourself. Every individual, when Durga's stomach is celebrated, your mother nature perishes your own evil attitudes, your habits, your practices, your attractions, everything perishes. This is God, Mahishasura, which blinds you. And you become purified. Once you perceive these things, once you see the reality of the life, true meaning of this creation of this world. Your soul achieves the objectivity why you have been sent to this mortal world. That you see, that is called the celebration of Dipavali. Now come the third aspect and the last aspect I want to say. This is potential, pertains to a Hindu mythology and related to Ramayana. Ramayana is a story of Ramachandra who was the king of Ajodhya who the father has promised one of his wife and vanished for 14 years to the forest and his wife was kidnapped by a demon called Ravan and he fought with Ravan. In Nutsal, I am telling you. And he killed uh, Ravan and recovered his wife from Sri uh, Lanka. And uh, he fought a great battle and uh, defeated Ravan. Then returned back to Ajodhya. So when he entered to Ajodhya, by that time, his father, Das King Dasaratha, already departed. His younger brother Bharata was just holding the kingdom as the king. But he was not, he never occupied the king, throne, but he was just worshipping the sandal of Ramachandra because he knew that King Ramachandra was nobody else than the Vishnu, Lord Vishnu. And Mother Sita was nobody else than Mother Lakshmi. So he was keeping actually the sandals, wooden sandals, sandals on a throne. And near there was a Sarazu river, it's still there. The Sarazu river is there. There in an ashram, he used to stay and manage the kingdom of Ayodhya. He was very powerful. And when he heard that his brother is returning, he informed Ayodhya and entire 
people of Ajodhya were very happy on the return of King Ramachandra. Because by that time they know, they knew that uh, he was the avatar of Lord Vishnu. So there was a great celebration of return of the King Ramachandra to his one kingdom and for Raja Abhisheka to take over the kingdom as the king of Achodhya. So that night was Dipabali and this Dipabali means entire Ajodhya people celebrated that night because at that time electricity was not there. <laughs> that is of your ancient time and oil lamps were mostly used in night time and entire Ajodhya people used to burn oil lamps celebrating that night with all this the nowadays crackers and all this um, banana those um, we are um, using and they celebrated particularly Dipavali. So that is the third aspect. So I think that you have understood the meaning of celebration of Deepavali. One for the Pitrupakya, second is the killing of a demon Mahishasura by Mother Durga and celebration of Mother killing this demon. Third is your perceptive mind of making yourself noble, pure, killing your evilness within yourself and celebration of Dipavali and the blazing light within yourself knowing what is good, what is bad. Discrimination capability. Once you will be capable of discriminating each, the good and bad, rejecting the bad and performing the nobleness in life. So that is called celebration of the family within yourself. And Ramayana, in Dasahara, the return of Ramachandra, King Ramachandra, to be the king of Ajodhya, where the people are celebrating at that time in the night, lamps and burning crackers fire with fun and celebrations. So Dipavali will be celebrated on Sunday, very near. I wish all of my friends, young, younger generation, and kids, happy times in Dasara, happy times in Dipavali. Dasara is already passed, and happy times of coming Dipavali. Celebrate yourself, celebrate the Dipavali within you, develop yourself as a good human being in this world, fulfill your objectivity objective purpose 
the why you have come to this world and getting noble, suppressing your evil thoughts, those things are there. My best wishes for this day. Thanks. Bye.